We are back with another video for the news cycle of Saturday, March 4th. And it does give us some news for WrestleMania. Well, one news story for WrestleMania, the other is more of an injury update. As Ronda Rousey has... Uh, Ronda Rousey appeared in a sling last night on SmackDown, appearing to, according to PW Torch, re-aggravate a previous injury. All, uh, and was not was not in the ring last night like originally intended and it just degraded into a singles match for Shayna Baszler against I presume Tegan Knox. but Ronda Rousey did stay at ringside but did not get physical and according to PW Tor according to that same report on PW Torch it does appear that Ronda will still be able to compete at WrestleMania but the build for the match at WrestleMania may have to be a little bit different because Ronda will need weeks to recover and heal up after to make sure that she is 100% for the showcase of the Immortals because WWE doesn't want, to, want her to miss the show. So I, for one, do hope that Ronda is able to compete at WrestleMania because, as it was said in the Cultaholic video, the last thing you want is for some i mean the last thing you want for anybody is for them to get injured so i do hope ronda is able to recover and be 100 percent for the showcase of the immortals so wwe can give the spotlight a little bit of the spotlight to the women's tag team titles for the very first time like they're supposed like they should have over the course of that title's history and they haven't but the one thing that triple h has tried to do since he took office as the leader of creative is give a little bit more of a spotlight and a little bit proper attention to the championships other than the world title and he's done that with the tag team titles he's done that with the united states title but the one thing he has not been able to do yet is that for the tag team titles in my opinion either set but part of the reason is because of the of the um because of the usos still being the champions but I think that may change after WrestleMania. Either way, though, I do hope that Ronda's okay and that we will still see some spotlight given to the women's tag team titles at WrestleMania on April 1st and April 2nd. Or April 2nd. We will get back to WWE and a little bit more WrestleMania expectations in a minute as we got other things to talk about as Tatum, Paxley, and Ivy Nile are set to split up in the not too distant future which is which is something that has been hinted at it, you know it's something that's been hinted at and rumored on NXT TV for a while so it's not really a surprise it's just a matter of when it's going to happen not a matter of if and maybe it'll give Tatum Paxley and Ivy Nile a little bit more time to be given a little bit more of a little bit more attention and just maybe I mean it's like I said in a previous news video it's like I said in a previous news video WWE is going to need to have new people step up after WrestleMania because it is very likely that after WrestleMania that's when WWE is going to make the move and bring some people up to the main roster because that's when they're going to do the draft. Because the dra the the brand the bl the brand split shakeup or the WWE draft will take place after WrestleMania. In the past it took place after um in October because of uh, because that is when the new season starts, you know, the fall season, yada 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 and all that stuff and it took place then for that reason and that made sense but at the same time it made a hell of a lot more it makes a hell of a lot more sense for the draft to take place after WrestleMania so it is very likely that we will see developmental stars come up to the main roster after WrestleMania and with that being said I think it is time for WWE to start looking at certain talent and thinking are they ready to come up to the main roster and if they are making the move but that's 
for another story. I, I don't think Tatum, Paxley, or Ryan Van Nile are ready to come up. But maybe, just maybe, with people like Cora Jade or Gigi Dolan or JC Jane or somebody like that coming up to the main roster, I'm not saying any of those will be rumored, but maybe those people are closest to coming up that maybe Ivy Nile and Tatum Paxley could get a little bit more attention if talent like that, if the bottlenecking is, situation is a little bit addressed. But now we shift over as The Rock is set to appear at the Oscars in, a, in some form of a host capacity. Some awards have already been determined as who will give out those awards, and it is not known if The Rock will just be hosting the Oscars Honestly, I don't pay enough attention to the Oscars to know if there is one host or if there's, you know, like what the expectations are for the Oscars because I don't pay enough attention to that award show because the award show is that insignificant to me that I don't really care about it. But it is pretty cool, in my opinion, that The Rock will be in some form, of, some form or fashion being a part of such a spectacle for Hollywood because The Rock is... Hollywood's biggest actor, so him being in a position where he is going to be a featured performer on Hollywood's biggest stage or on Hollywood's biggest award show, it is something that is worthwhile to pay attention to. Now we shift over to an update on Miro, as Miro, it, there is basically no good update on Miro. Um, there is no good update on Miro. He's not injured, but there is no update on when he will be coming back to television. Simple as that. You know, it, it was said that Tony Con that AEW and Miro have spoken, but that there is no update on when he's coming back to TV. Maybe over the, you know, maybe... There's no rumor now because of Revolution is right around the corner and the creative is tied up with Revolution. But there is no rumor of when Miro will be coming back. So I, for one, would love to see Miro, but I, for one, would love to see Miro come back soon. As far as another update, now we end with the two updates on WrestleMania matches as uh, Gunther is still looking for his uh, opponent for WrestleMania. And that will be determined in a fatal five way next week for where the winner will be fighting Gunther at WrestleMania. The rumor was Drew McIntyre and Sheamus will fight in a triple threat match against Gunther at WrestleMania. So maybe, just maybe, the fatal five way does not have a finish and Gunther screw, tries to screw Drew McIntyre and Sheamus out of the Intercontinental title match. Or maybe he tries to screw Drew McIntyre out of the Intercontinental title match. Who really knows, to be honest with you. But the fact of the matter is, Gunther, I mean, Gunther versus Drew, you saw what Gunther and Sheamus did last year at Clash at the Castle. So Gunther, Sheamus, and Drew McIntyre in a triple threat, that has every possibility to tear the house down at WrestleMania and will give the Intercontinental title its proper spotlight. And also, rumor has it that WWE has gained more faith in R Dominic Mysterio based on his work the last couple of weeks, or based on his work since joining the Judgment Day, and he will be a featured talent on both Raw and SmackDown in the build-up to WrestleMania, sticking with likely Rhea Ripley in her build-up with Charlotte Flair, which is the smartest way to keep Rhea heel in, her Char in the Charlotte Flair feud. But the rumor is that Dom will fight his father in a one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania, which is something that I think everybody expected, but nobody saw coming because, well, it's a month before WrestleMania and we still haven't gotten any, any movement towards that. So who really knows if that's going to happen, you know, when it's going to be announced, if it's going to happen or when it's going to happen as far as getting an announcement of the match. But either way, 
props to Don Mysterio for the work he's done since Clash at the Castle and joining the Judgment Day because he has really turned up the heat and become a must-see piece of the WWE puzzle. Either way, that is the end of the news cycle today, and I will see you tomorrow for more news and a preview of AEW's first pay-per-view offering of 2023, AEW Revolution. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.